it's, I'm in a position of you know, privilege, it's an honour, you know, so um, you know, it's been a long time since we had an international game, so three years of this in the making and, you know, putting a team together and picking a team that's and a bunch of players are really excited about being here, you know, very passionate about the jersey, you know, very passionate about you know, promoting rugby league in the right, right light, you know, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a fantastic experience. Anticipation, I reckon. You know, so I mean, we fully understand why we couldn't get good come here you know, last year. You know, based around you know, a lot of things that's happening you know, globally. You know, so um, and you know the players. You know, you know, really important to look after the players and their families after what's happening with the you know, the, with the pandemic, of course. And you know, so I think the timing's right. You know, and we're. It's come along really quick, to be honest with you. And, you know, so in, in, the anticipation of actually being here is fantastic, and you know, looking forward to you know playing some games. It's funny, it's because we had to um, we had to stop from getting from training too hard yesterday. We had we had a session because you know we just got off the plane and. They all, all they want to do. They're, they're bouncing around. They're, they're happy to be be on you know, foreign soil. Now, a lot of the guys they've never experienced English conditions or even been to England. You know, so um, we had to sort of colour them a bit. We had to put the reins on and say, listen, you know, be careful because you're going to get you're going to hurt yourself if you keep on doing the things you're doing. You know, so uh, but they're really happy. You know, it's a really happy bunch. Um, glad they could run around, throw a football around. Yeah, you know, yesterday, but you know, we'll get into the more serious things as we acclimatise better, you know, so, but, you know, it's, they've already been out and about and experiencing life already in Manchester, you know, so it's going to be hold, but it's going to be hard to hold them back. We're such a young footy team um, that hasn't got a lot of good combinations and cohesion because like I said, we just haven't been around, and these guys, I believe, are the best players in their positions. That's how they're eligible to play for Australia. Um, so it's about that combination and, and getting uh, used to playing you know, footy, rugby league together. Very important against the Fijians, who are a very physical side, and they'll come out, you know, fired up. They've got some great players, Happy Coracel and, and um, Villami, you know, kick out um, in particular, who just come off a, a premiership, you know, um, winning performance. So. And, you know, so for us, it's doing things really well. You know, we're going to keep it simple, and but doing them really well. And if we do it really well, it gives us you know, a great chance of, of you know, being successful in the game. We've got a couple of young ones there, you know, there. Um, so we've got a Jeremiah Nanai, who, you know, played for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys have had a really highly successful uh, campaign this year in the National Rugby League. He played for Queensland as well. Um, he's only 19 years of age, you know, but a, a player of extraordinary, extraordinary talent. You know, we've got we've got the sort of the um, the crux of of pretty young a young footy side that will be around, I reckon, for another 10 years. So we've got the Harry Grants of the world, the Nathan Clearys of the world, the Cam, Cameron Murrays of the world, who are all young, exciting players and already leaders leaders at their clubs. And already been already been successful, so I just think that those younger those younger legs, you know, um, we haven't got many. I mean, James Tedesco is you know he's an incredible player, an incredible leader. Uh, it will lead the team, and he's desperate to you know be successful as well. And we've got so many so many great players in our footy team. I don't see personally, you know, other opposition coaches might see, but I don't see personally, you know, too many or you know, any weaknesses. I just think we're a strong unit. Come from blue collar situations, you know. We come from uh, some in some cases a lot of disadvantaged, you know, um, environments. You know, growing up, you know. So um, this is a great opportunity, you know, to display a talent on a global scale um, that you might never have got, you know. So rugby league provides that uh, for young people, and you know, to aspire to something, you know, fulfil their dreams and and um, get a great kickstart in life, you know. So I just think that's one of them. Um, 
and watch and you know growing up these young fellas watching growing up and how you know, rugby league do and does inspire um, those those young ones you know where Origin is a great example over home where you know it creates that passion it come from passion it come from where you're born and you put them together put, put them together and you know you want to play for your state that's what international space is you know so I think I think international space can be bigger than origin because that passion of where you come from you know putting your your national colors on and we're, rep we're representing in Australia putting that on and you know tr and doing your best so you can make people back home proud of you you know and, and give them bragging rights you know for for as long as they the next tournament comes along you know but that's what it does you know so it's it's around all that it's you know it's your family being inspired by your success. Well, I think it's said bread. I think it's innate. That's why. That's why. You know, we need to have eligibility rules you know, sorted out. So for us, you know, we. Well, I want. I want people who want to play in the green gold colours. That's innate in you. You know. So all of a sudden. It comes from the heart, and when you, you put that jersey on, that's that inspires you. And then we play smart. You know, we're an intelligent footy team. You know, we're a talented footy team. Um, we'll play with a lot of patience and, and discipline, and because of, because we do that on a regular basis and understand how to do that, that's why you know, in most cases, we'll be successful. No, I love pressure. Honestly, um, that's why you play. That's why you, you play these big tournaments. You know, pressure is. Be able to handle that and be successful, it gives you a great sense of purpose and, and meaningfulness.